Welcome to the Welling Technocrat YouTube channel. Let us now understand the newly added SFU number 5.39, a specification of flux and electrode combinations for SW and ESW joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. Here you can see the designator for SW flux electrode combination. By the end of this video, we'll be able to understand and decipher the designator constituting the flux electrode classification. Let us understand the designators constituting the flux electrode classification. For SFA 5.39, specification for flux and electrode combinations for submerged arc and electroslide joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. We have a designator F which indicates a submerged arc flux. After this, we have a three number designator which indicates the minimum tensile strength of well metal deposited with flux electrode combination. These details are given in SFA 5.39 table 1. After that, we have an alphabetic designator which indicates the condition of the heat treatment in which the tests were conducted. A indicates as welded condition, P indicates post welded heat treated condition. Table 8 in SFA 5.39 gives detail about this. After this, we have a numeric designator. These number indicates the temperature in degree Celsius at or above which the impact energy of the well metal meets or exceeds 27 joules and 0.38 mm lateral expansion in the case of the designator 20. The details about impact test requirements are given in SFA 5.39 table 2. After this, we have a designator starting with E and following the details about the classification of the electrode used in producing the well metal. These designators are from the AWS classification SFA 5.9, SFA 5.14, SFA 5.22, SFA 5.34. After this, we have some numeric designator which indicates the chemical composition of the well metal obtained with the combination of the flux and electrode. These chemical composition details are given in table 3 of SFA 5.39. Let us take an example of flux electrode designator. Here we can see that F indicates submerged arc flux, 490 indicates minimum tensile strength of 490 megapascal which has been fulfilled by the well metal deposited with flux electrode combination. A indicates the as welded condition of heat treatment in which the tests were conducted. 20 indicates minus 196 degrees Celsius test temperature at or above which the impact energy of well metal meets or exceeds 27 joules and 0.38 lateral expansion. EO308L shows the solid bare pillar metal classification 5.9 for solid and strength stainless steel electrodes used in producing the well metal. 308L indicates the chemical composition of well metal obtained with this combination of flux and electrodes. Let us see what changes are there in the designator when the minimum tensile strength requirement changes. Whenever there is change in the tensile strength requirement, the three digits after F undergoes the change. For example, if we change the minimum tensile strength requirement from 490 megapascal to 520, this is the change that can be observed. Let us now see what change is there in the designator when the post well heat treatment condition let us see what changes are there when we have a requirement for post well heat treatment condition f shows submerged arc flux 
930 indicates tensile strength P indicates the post per heat treatment in this case heat treatment condition has been carried out at 1025 degrees celsius to 1050 degrees celsius hold for one hour and air cool to ambient and then precipitation hardening takes place in 610 to 630 degrees celsius for four hours and then cool in ambient air minus 40 indicates the temperature at which impact tests of the well meets the requirement of 27 joules er 630 shows the solid bear failure metal classification as per SFA 5.9 and 630 indicates the chemical composition of the well metal that is obtained with the combination of the flux and electrode combination. Let us see what changes are there in the designator when the maximum test temperature requirement changes. F stands for Flux submerged out flux 490 stands for minimum tensile strength. A stands for as well as condition. Here Y indicates the plus 20 degrees Celsius at or above which the impact energy of the well met meets the requirements of 27 joules. E R 308 indicates the filler motor classification as per 5.9 and 3 rate indicates the chemical composition of the well metal obtained with the flux. Now let us see what is the change when there is a change in the maximum test temperature requirement. You can see when there is change in the test temperature requirement for impact. Say in this case it is as minus 40 degrees Celsius. It is designated by the number 4. In a similar way, you can see that if there is a change, that there is no impact electrical expansion requirement, it is resembled by an alphabet Z that there is no impact electrical expansion requirement. Again, we can see that if there is a requirement of impact at minus 196 degrees Celsius, there is an additional requirement of 0.38 mm electrical expansion along with the requirement of 27 joules minimum absorbed energy. Let us see an example where there is change in the form of the filler wire. Everything else will remain the same. F resembles uh, submerged arc welding 490 indicates the minimum tensile strength requirement A indicates as welded condition minus 40 indicates the test temperature of impact and here as you can see that E308 LT1-4 indicates the flux cord filler metal classification as per AWS 5.22 for cord stainless steel electrode used in producing the well metal. After that, 30L indicates the chemical composition that is formed as a result of using this first cord filler metal wire. Happy welding! Thank you for watching. Kindly like the video and subscribe the YouTube channel. Push the bell notification for new welding related videos. Share the video with welders welding foremen, welding engineers and welding enthusiasts. Thank you again.